Hi, we're going to show you how easy it is to put a hyperstar lens on a CPC Celestron telescope. This happens to be an 8 inch telescope. You notice that I have the front of the telescope up at about a 45 degree angle and I've locked the clutch in place. We'll start by putting the counterweight on the telescope. That's done by simply removing the diagonal and inserting the counterweight. We'll lock it in place with the two thumb screws that held the counterweight, that held the diagonal in place. We'll bring it back around and now we're going to remove the secondary ring that holds the secondary in place. Now this has already been converted for hyperstar conversion so you can remove the secondary. If you don't have a hyperstar ready telescope, contact Star Arizona. We're going to remove the ring. We're going to prepare by taking the base of the hyperstar lens off, the cap that's now keeping the lens assembly clean, and then we'll put the secondary mirror in place. You notice that there's a notch or it's index. We're going to remove the mirror. We're going to set the mirror in place, not aiming for the hole, but rather put one edge of the mirror in place, rotating over. That way you don't scratch your surface. Line up the index mark. Drops in place. Put the ring that held the secondary in on the cap now, and now it's safely secure. In its place, we'll install the Hyperstar lens. Set it in place. Rotate it over. Thread it down. When you run out of threads, quit turning. You don't need to have any tension on these threads whatsoever. It's in place. Remove the cap. Install your CCD camera of choice. Here's an example of the Starlight Express. Simply thread it on. When it comes to rest, you run out of thread, stop turning. If the orientation is incorrect, you can use the three nylon washered screws to adjust the orientation of the camera. When you get your orientation where you want it, then tighten the three screws back up. Then you can take your cables, bring them off at right angles, and you'll get nice diffraction spikes. And now you have a telescope ready for a night of hyperstar imaging.